Hello Leo, welcome to your um, second February reading. Thanks for joining me. Um, we're going to be doing a little bit of like a love reading here. We're going to start off with an energy check-in, um, kind of get you set spiritually, okay, because that's very connected to your love life. Um, and a lot of my readings have been very twin flame oriented. We're kind of in a, a twin flame year right now. Um, so just, you know, if, if that sounds like it resonates for you, then, you know, hang tight. Thanks for showing up. Um, I'm going to lay the cards out. I have already pre-shuffled. I'm going to lay the cards out as I give you some announcements, okay? So um, I want to invite you to my Patreon. My Patreon is where um, you can support me as a reader, but you also get perks, okay? You get access to all my extendeds. You get um, put in drawings for free readings every month. You get um, uh, discounts on personal readings. Okay, this starts at the $30.33 um, membership level a month. At the $1 level, you just get access to readings, the extended readings. But above that, you get put into drawings for readings and things like that. Okay, so I wrote all that out in the um, description box. So check that out. Okay, also... Um, okay, also, sorry, which one do I want to do next? Also, uh, right now when you sign up at the $7 level, you get a free 30 minute reading. So check that information out. My, um, Instagram read or, uh, my Instagram, oh God, what is it called? <laughs> link. Thank you very much. My Instagram link is below. My Facebook group is below. My website is below. Um, so I am doing twin flame readings now on top of my general readings, okay? Angel of Balance. Woman holding a heart and anxiety, okay? Um, so if you want, you know, to know more about a twin flame situation, definitely book a reading with me, okay? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, Oh, look at that. Yin and yang. And fork in the road. Ooh, okay. Wow. 11th house, the edge. Venus, love. Okay. Try and flow and the third house of perception. All right. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this does not resonate for you, check your other placements. Um, if this still does not resonate for you, then book a personal reading. That's the only way to get um, a reading that actually resonates for you, okay? So let's get started here. Um, we have a lot going on, okay? There's a lot of, we have some anxiety, okay? We have indecision, okay? We have a love situation and we have a money situation. And we have an angel of balance. So needing balance, okay? Um, there's something connected to money and love when it comes to balance, when it comes to making a decision. Um, you also got your strength. You got your card here, the strength card, okay? And we got the victory card as well. So these cards to me um, are very like Leo-ish cards. And it gives me a lot of hope that you're going to gain a lot of victory over this situation, okay? Spirit's wanting to bring in blessings. Spirit's wanting you to know that you have a spirit guide. You have spirit guides that are with you that you can call on, okay? There's a family dynamic here that needs forgiveness, okay? So some of you are in some kind of family dynamic that needs forgiveness. And I feel like this family dynamic um, is tied to this indecision, all right? So you're also in a place of manifestation, okay? Um, 
There is a situation here with love. There's a situation here with friendship, community, community and humanity. This try and flow card, okay? This could be a water sign. Third house of perception, social media, dating, social ability. So I feel like some of you um, need to be communicative or reach out or have some kind of communication um, when it comes to something with love. We have this yin and yang, okay? So this to me is a, a twin flame connection here. But overall, your energy here is kind of indecisive. Your energy is kind of anxious and you are needing some level of balance because you're trying to make a decision here with Fork in the Road, okay? I do feel like it's very connected to a family dynamic as well. But you are in a place of manifestation. You're manifesting things right now. Um, and I do feel like you're going to get victory in this situation, okay? Okay, Eight of Wands. Page of... How did that card get in there? Page of Swords. The Tower. The sun, there's your card. Nine of wands. The wheel, wow. There's the nine of swords. Seven of cups. Five of wands. The hermit. And the six of cups. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, and there's the judgment card. Ace of swords. So there's clarity. Okay, so there's some clarity coming in. Some revelation coming in about a situation. Um, regarding reconciliation, okay? There's a reconciliation here. The, the Six of Cups with the Judgment card together is my reconciliation team. <laughs> okay, when these cards come out together, this is absolutely 100% reconciliation. I feel like a lot of you are single, all right, or wanting to be, um, but there's some kind of drama here. And I feel like this drama here with this Five of Wands is connected to that family dynamic. Okay. You have the Seven of Cups. This is choices. Having choices in life. Not knowing which direction to choose. A lot of readers see it as like um, choices in people. Which is part. It can be part of it. But I, for me I see it as like choices in life. Do I want to stay single? Do I want to move towards this connection? Um, which direction do I want to go? This card literally says, make a choice, stop procrastinating or overanalyzing, get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options and addiction. Okay. And I think that's where this anxiety is coming from. Nine of swords. Okay. Nine of swords is about anxiety. This card literally says anxiety. We have indecision here. Fork in the road. Okay, and Seven of Cups, making a decision. My cat just came in and is going to try to interfere. <laughs> okay, like he always does. You have a decision to make. And for some reason, it's connected to money and family dynamics. No, Simba, you cannot jump on the desk. No, you can't do it. No, you can't do it. Okay. So, no, you can't. <laughs> All right. Come on, Simba. Some of you had a situation in the past where something fell apart. Oh, kitty. Come on. Come on. You can sit on my lap. Something fell apart here, okay, in the past. You had a tower moment. Something changed the course of the direction of your life, like, forever. All right? To try to find your happiness, you went to battle for your healing. You became very resilient, very determined to move forward. And you became very resilient to change your fate. Okay? And manifest a new direction, I feel. It's like this tower moment really shifted your brain and how you see life. Okay? A tower moment is something that just... Sometimes it's a divorce. Sometimes um, it's possibly for some of you it was a divorce because we have a the family card. Okay, some of you a family split up. 
there might have been kids involved. That's what I usually feel with this family card here. But there needs to be this level of forgiveness in this situation for there to be forward movement and healing. But here with this Page of Swords and this Eight of Wands, this is communication. Okay? This is, I feel like you wanting to communicate with somebody. I mean, it could possibly be them wanting to communicate with you, but I'm reading this as your energy. If you need to reverse it, feel free. Okay? I do feel like you are trying to make a decision in regards to a twin flame situation. Because we have this reconciliation here, okay? We have this communication here, and we have the yin and yang here. We also have a woman holding a heart and the Venus, um, the planet Venus, okay? Love. And all these things about you making a decision and trying to make a decision. But what gives me hope, Simba, <laughs> oh my God, no, no, okay. Oh my gosh, if it's not my kids, my cat, it's my cat. All right, this guy always, every reading, almost every reading, um, and he knows this is the Leo reading too, so he's, <laughs> he's all about the Leo readings. Um, it's a cat thing, I think, you know? So we have, okay, and something else I wanted to mention was this reminds me a lot of the cancer reading that I did yesterday. So if you have cancer in your chart, um, this could definitely be for you or you are dealing with a cancer. But in cancer's reading, there was a card and it was talking, it was the door to personal healing and happiness. And basically what spirit was telling me was, are you going to... Um, walk through the door that I just opened for you or are you going to stay inside? Because staying inside is the comfortable choice. But walking out is going to bring you your healing and your happiness. Okay? So there's, there's a choice to make. And for Cancer, it was walking out of the door to, to, to their twin flame. So there's revelation here with this Ace of Swords. Something, somebody is, is having a revelation and I think you are about something. You're seeing something more clearly than you've ever seen it before. And I think you're trying to move forward in that direction. No, Simba. Come on. And I really feel it has to do with reconciliation here. Okay? And wanting to communicate. I did see the... Um, oh, it flew. It flew. Oh, there it is. It flew out of the other deck for some reason. So we had the Mercury communication card. I knew I saw that somewhere. So there's, there's a lot of things here about communication. Um, wanting to communicate with somebody and trying to make a decision. Okay. So we're going to move into the extended reading. We're going to look into um, more energy on this situation. Get more details about this. We're going to look at like what is your advice? Um, what is your person's energy? And kind of how to move this all forward so that you can, you know, move forward and not be stuck, okay? Um, and if you have cancer in your chart, I would watch that reading as well, okay? No, Simba. Oh, my God. All right. Simba says bye, you guys. And um, look for the information, the link for the extended. It's below. Read through all the information and um, choose which option is best for you and hope to see you there. I will talk with you guys later. Bye.